In this tutorial, you will learn how to use wireless mouse on iPhone. There are some tasks you may like to complete on your iPhone, and there is need for you to use mouse to do that. So learn how you can easily connect wireless mouse to your iPhone from this video guide. The first thing you need to do is to turn on the Bluetooth of your mouse and get it closer to your iPhone. After you turn the Bluetooth of your mouse on, let's now begin the other processes with our iPhone. Then on your iPhone, swipe down through the top right, okay? Then tap the Bluetooth for it to be enabled because this works with Bluetooth functionality. After you have tapped the, the Bluetooth for it to be enabled, Press and hold on it. Then press and hold on the Bluetooth again. You will see some Bluetooth devices available, just as you can see on the screen right now. Then tap on Bluetooth settings. This opens the Bluetooth settings page. On the list are some devices we have connected to this iPhone. Then under other devices, you can see the Bluetooth device I want to connect to this my iPhone, which is BT 5.2 mouse. All I need to do is to tap on it. And the device is pairing. Okay, we have succeeded in pairing the Bluetooth device to this iPhone. All right. So we need to go and make some other changes on the settings of this iPhone so that whenever we move our mouse, it will flex on the iPhone. So tap on settings. Get back to the main settings page. Okay. Here's the main settings page. Then tap accessibility. Now under accessibility, there's an option called touch. Tap on touch. Now you can see assistive touch is turned off. So we need to enable it. So I'll tap on it and then enable assistive touch. You can see this assistive touch is now enabled. So anytime I move the mouse, you can see the cursor appear on the screen. Okay. So let me go to the home page. Let's assume I want to open my mail. I'll click on it. You can see it has opened. If maybe I want to use a browser. What I will need is just move my mouse. With my move my cursor to the browser, I'll click and it has opened. So these are just the few steps you need to take. I hope you find this guide helpful. Please do like, subscribe, and leave a comment.